Hey, my Good name morning. is Dustin. I'm the assistant GM here at Lakeside Landing. Nice to meet you. Hey, nice to meet you too. Thanks for taking the time to come in and sit down with me to go over um, the application. Um, can you tell me a little bit about yourself? Yeah, so I went to Fort Jones West High School and I went to St. Charles Community College. So I grew up kind of in the area. Um, I have played soccer throughout high school and college. Um, I currently work at Cybergs on Dorset. Okay. I'm a server there. I've been server there, serving there for about two years. I train there. I've opened a couple stores for them. So I've been doing that for a few years, and now I'm just going to college, and that's about it. Okay. I'm kind of familiar with the area, so I'm actually familiar with Cybergs. Um, I've been there a time or two myself to eat. So yeah. um, do you like it there? Yeah, I love it. Um, just looking for a change of pace, I guess. Yeah, no, for sure. I totally understand that. Um, so at, C at senior year, you went to Fort Sumo West. I actually um, went there as well when I was in high school. Um, so I'm very familiar with the school um, and the area. I see you also grew up around St. Charles. Yeah. Yeah, do you like that area? Yeah, I love it. Um, I'm currently looking at buying a house in that area, so okay. super exciting. Well, I'm just going to take about 15 minutes to conduct your preliminary uh, screening interview and ask, ask you a couple questions. I may take a few notes as we move along. Um, but feel free to just ask any kind of questions or if I um, kind of catch you off guard or something you don't really understand, just stop me and I can explain it um, or go over it in uh, further detail, okay? Okay. Um, did you have a chance to look at the uh, job description or read a hard copy already? Yeah, I did. Okay. It's super interesting. Okay. Um, so here at Lakeside Landing, we um, tend to be pretty busy year round. There's always something new going on from uh, country stars to locally born artists, boat shows. Um, Boat races, there's always something new going on, a new clientele walking through our front doors, looking for good food and a good time. Um, we're very proud to be the center for that energy um, here at Lakeside Landing. Do you have experience working in that type of atmosphere, or can you explain to me your experiences as a server in the past, um, or Cybergs specifically? Yeah, so at Cybergs, we are actually about like, I would say five miles from the amphitheater, so we get a, a lot of country like concerts and okay. Haitian concerts. Um, usually about like th two or three times a year we have a local country artist or not local country artist, just depends, come into the um, building and do like meet and greets. So it's super busy for those, super exciting. Um, it gets a lot of people in the building, yeah, so for which sure. is so nice. Yeah, it's always super fun to have something uh, always different going on, different to change the pace, different people, new faces. Um, that's what this industry is all about. Uh, what makes you interested in this position? Um, like I said, I'm just, I've been at Cybergs for a while, I've been training there, I'm just looking for a little bit more of a change of pace, some new scenery, so I was super interested in your guys' ad and wanted to just learn more about it. Okay. Um, since you've had a little bit of survey experience, um, which is exactly what you're looking for, so that's uh, phenomenal, um, how many customers or tables are you used to, are able to serve at one time? Um, at Cybergs we have... Um, normally like a five to six table section. Okay. Um, some of the closing sections and not closing sections, patio and stuff has like varies, but most of the time it's a five to six table section. Um, and then you usually get like two of your tables are larger larger tables, so that's about what we're kind of used to. So. so you do have experience working outside in the patio? Yes. Okay, so that's wonderful. So we do have a patio. Um, obviously it's kind of nice mm -hmm. um, during our summer is um, being by the water, so it's very popular. Most of our guests um, kind of head out that, toward that direction, um, so we get pretty busy. Sometimes we'll have one or two servers out there, um, so typically we'll take between eight and ten table sections. Um, so it does move pretty quick, so you have some experience and you're okay with that kind of atmosphere? Yeah. Okay. Um, so did you guys have busters or food runners at Cybergs, or do you have experience working with that type of assistance? Yeah, so every day of the week um, we had a busser and a food runner, and then Almost every single night of the week, we also have an expo, so okay. it just really helps, like in my perspective with working with that, it helps with getting your food out quicker, um, helping flip tables faster, getting people off of weight, um, it just makes the overall like um, atmosphere in your um, um, guest experience. Yes, better. Yes, for um, sure. So it's super, like I love having a buster and food runner. Um, actually, I did have a question if you guys have those, what is your normal tip out with them? Um, so typically we'll do uh, a percentage of your sales, so um, you'll do 1.5% of your food sales will go towards your food runner, um, he'll be running all your food, and then we'll do 1.5% of your sales, um, of your total sales, so liquor, beverages, and food to your busser, um, and he'll kind of help you, he or she will help you throughout the night um, busing your tables, and then we also do about bartender, um, which is pretty average. 
um, the three percent of your bar sales will also tip out for that. Um, can you tell me about a time that you made an error at your workplace that affected the guest experience and how you went about that to resolve it? Yeah, so I feel like in every serving position we do make errors. It's a natural human thing to make errors. Um, a common error is just going, I think sometimes a little too quickly, um, bringing in a food item wrong or with the wrong sauce or something like that. So there's been a time when I bring in the wrong sauce for wings that have come out and I guess it's obviously dissatisfied because they wanted a different course of the correct sauce so we take them back um i immediately tell the kitchen take them back and then i go back out to the table offer them soup salad bread anything i can to, while everyone else is eating just so hopefully they don't realize that they're waiting on food that it can kind of keep them occupied and i also get a manager just to go by the table make sure everything's okay um at cyberx we normally don't take food off once they get it um if it takes a super long time, we'll get it discounted or hopefully get them taken care of, but it's once they start eating it, we usually don't take it off their bill, but we just wanna make sure they're satisfied. Yeah, so, so you're pretty used to um, kind of using your own judgment and taking matters into your hands and resolving the situation uh, without necessarily um, involving management at all times? Yeah, so I just wanna make the guests happy, so if they are, you can get a feel for the guests. If they want to see a manager, you know exactly what, what they're looking for. Um, so yeah, we use our own judgment most of the time, um, especially for being there so long in training and stuff, you just kind of know when to get a manager. Yeah, I mean at Lakeside we um, are pretty accustomed to empowering our employees to make their own decisions. Um, if we can empower you guys to you know, fix a um, situation or resolve something, you guys are the first ones who see the guests and you guys are the ones who deal with the guests. Um, so obviously managers are always there um, to help you and kind of um, stop by a table and you know make sure everything's smoothed over but we are definitely um, a company who's we allow our employees to have some power um, and kind of make those solutions and fix things um, without necessarily always having a manager because that just adds more steps to the process of making sure that guests are taken care of um, so it's really great that you have experience in that um, what do you feel is necessary to create a hospital enjoyable experience for your guests Um, we'll repeat that question one more time, I'm sorry. That's okay. What do you believe is necessary to create a hospital and enjoyable experience for your guest? Like, what do you believe is, um, that guests value the most when they come into a restaurant? I think guests value the most their own satisfaction. Um, I know a lot of times that sounds selfish when you say it out loud and really think about it, but they want to be satisfied when they walk in the door as far as seeing the host, then to going to a table. Anyone who passes the table, a bus or food runner, anybody going to the table, they want to be satisfied. They want to be feel like they're taken care of the whole time. So I feel like that's the most important is obviously the guest, but also I think the most like important for a guest is to make sure that team is all running smoothly. You can't have satisfied guests if your own team within the house is not working well together. Um, so I think that's just guest satisfaction, but it comes from every aspect of the building, from the kitchen to the front of the house, to the bartenders, to the managers, everywhere it comes from, so. Yeah, I can agree to that. Hospitality is all about, um, you know, we are the center for fun and uh, friends and family, we're surrounded by food. Um, so when you think of celebrating a birthday or celebrating a loved one or uh, celebrating an anniversary or, um, you know, you name it, graduations, um, any kind of celebration, the first thing you think of is going out to dinner. You go out to dinner with a date, you go out to dinner um, with friends, you go out to dinner with family, you, dinner, going out to dinner is a pretty uh, common thing and that's the first thing people think of. Um, so it's very valuable that we, you know, make sure they're satisfied, make sure that they come out and have a good time that they're expecting they walk in those front doors because they're coming out of their home and they're not cooking, so they expect everything to go as smoothly um, if not five times better than what they would have had at home because that's why they decided to come out. Um, so just gonna throw a little bit of a situation at you to see um, how you respond. You have a tray with food ready to go out for a table for four um, and you notice that one of your steaks is overcooked and the kitchen is quite busy. What would you do in that situation? How would you handle it? So how I would handle that is I would immediately take the steak off the tray and I would give it to the kitchen immediately and make sure that they are working on that steak. I would tell them that I need a medium, medium well steak on the fly, um, make sure they start it and it gets going. I would take the rest of the food out without that steak. I would take the side items for that steak on the tray with me. I would pass everything out, get the customer their side items that were supposed to be with their steak. 
tell them that their food was on its way. Um, it's not quite prepared yet. It'll be out in just a second. Um, ask them if they want, like I said, any bread, um, soup, salad, anything while they're waiting. Um, go back in the kitchen, check on that food, maybe get a manager and just tell them to stop by that table just to make sure everyone seems pretty satisfied. And then as soon as that steak comes out, make sure I get that out, maybe even offer them dessert or anything since they had to wait for a second for it, depending on how long it takes. Um, maybe get more manager involvement if it takes quite a minute, so. Okay. Yeah, yeah I, well, like we mentioned before, um, we're all about allowing our employees to kind of make their decisions and you know be the first ones at hand to make those calls. Um, and I like how you mentioned that you bring out their side items and make sure that they you know, have some food in front of them while their other family members or friends um, have their food and they're kind of already slightly disappointed um, and then make sure that we get that um, corrected item out to them as soon as possible. Um, so I'd like to respond to that. Um, did you have any questions for me so far or is there anything I can answer for you that I haven't quite got to or that you were thinking of before you came in today? Um, the only question I think I would have is like what are you guys looking for as far as like availability? I know you had you fill, me fill that out on the sheet. I just didn't know what your guys' expectations were for availability. So we require you to work at least um, one morning shift um, and then we obviously want you to work at least a weekend shift and then um, have some evening availability, which it looks like you have exactly that. Um, I see that you can't work on Mondays or Wednesday mornings, is that correct? Yes, I just have, um, I take one online class and I just have that class on Mondays and Wednesday mornings. Yeah. That just allows me time to take quizzes, tests, do homework, stuff like that. Um, we work really well with um, school schedules, so we have plenty of college students here. Um, some that go away um, on summer breaks, spring breaks, fall breaks, um, and come back. And then some that don't, um, we have some that have or online students. Uh, so we work pretty well with schedules and it looks like you have a really amazing availability so far so we can definitely work with that for sure okay. uh, make sure that you get some of the days off that you need for your school we value that we value that um, a lot here so um, if you don't have any questions else for me um, I want to thank you for coming in it was a pleasure meeting you um, we will be going over applications and um, finishing up the rest of our interviews this week uh, so we'll probably call you around next Tuesday um, I would say like evening time when uh, the general manager gets in um, and me and him can discuss some things and then we'll be giving all of our applicants a call. Okay. okay? All right. Thank well, you it was so nice much. to meet you more.